Carrie Mullings, and this is the 2021 Taste of the Caribbean's Virtual Shift Tour. And ah, look at this! What's going on, Mama? Oh, boy. <laughs> See, when you're in Toronto, you're always going to run into one of our great celebrities. This is Juno nominated and Moy, but let me tell you, she is a world class artist. Make sure you follow her at Amoy's Music, A M M O Y E Music. So, since, since I got you right here, what's going on right now? Because I hear it's all about the water. It is about the water, the new album, yes. I just released, it. I released a new single, Journey Home last month and then now we're getting ready for the second single bad behavior coming out on the 17th excited to have her here and now she's a part of the virtual shift tour Hi. also and she has been making the shift in many ways continue to follow her movements we'll continue, babe. <laughs> i'm going to introduce to you the most sought after private culinary chef He's a chef to all of the reggae stars out of Jamaica. His name is Tipper Henry, and you can only get him personally and privately. We'll share some time with him, and then we're going to go to the rooftop, and we're going to see what else is happening. Stay tuned. This is season one. We got more in store for you. How many artists would you say over the years you have catered food to? Well, I would say hundreds of artists, and not only from Jamaica, from the States, the motherland Africa, is the artists yeah. coming from all over, keep me in business. And not only artists, celebrity too. I prep for Johnny Cochran and Jamaica Prime Minister, Honorable yes. Portia Simpson, Simpson yeah. B.B. King. Now, now it's more of a personal catering and specifically to some of reggae's greatest. Can you tell us a few of them? Ziggy Marley. Those guys are strictly vegan. Once I make a, some fish for you, I, he said it's the greatest fish he ever had. That fusion of music and all of the Caribbean cultures has been featured for 20 years with Taste of the Caribbean. And you also, for 22 years, have run Taste of the Caribbean and African Food Expo. The greatest contribution I made. This bring a lot of restaurants together that we buy in unit. We get our stuff much cheaper and also prepare our stuff much healthier. Because there was a, a very big wellness side to your expo. There was dietitian, registered mm -hmm. dietitian, there was nutritionist, there was medical doctor, there was a um, health and film wellness instructor. Mm -hmm. So everyone work in their particular capacity. So yeah. that means is a wealth of information passing on to the community at no cost. Today we'll be doing the fish meal and I'll demonstrate and show you. This fish here is already seasoned with um, some peppercorn, a little curry powder, garlic and um, cayenne peppers. Stick it in the oven, you're gonna cook for 20 to 25 minutes. Instead of using salt, I use some lime juice and this lime bring out the taste of the fish. Yeah. And you sprinkle a little olive oil, then into the oven. The oven prepare at um, 375, it's about 20, 25 minutes. Now we're gonna cut the potato, sweet potato. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blanch them a bit. And that's what we're gonna have with the fish. And then after I do the sauce, lastly, we do up the vegetables. So while the potato is cooking there, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop the vegetables. Vegetables, it, number one, it should not be overcooked. It should be real crunchy. I'll cook it up with a little onion and some red peppers. This is bab chow. So these tomatoes for the um, fish sauce. So now, in your catering business, I know it's very private and exclusive. There's many people who are gonna see you now that want to get connected with Tipper. Let's say someone wanted to be catered to buy you. How would they make that contact? The email is tipperhenry226 at gmail.com. It is that private. It's that exclusive. You have to be emailed directly in the discussions between you and them. Uh, uh, definitely so. The sauce for the fish. There you go. A little oil. And do not let the pot overheat because it doesn't matter. Any oil will burn. See? There. Yeah. 
touch of vinegar, no salt at all. The lemon and the lime gonna bring the, bring out that flavor. Apple cider vinegar, organic. Now I'm gonna add a little seasoning and a little cayenne pepper, a little boiling water, a little more, curry powder, a little turmeric, and some peppercorn. And the lemon juice. The lemon juice, you don't have to add no flour, no cornstarch, stick in it. Cover it for a while. The potato is cooked. Add a little olive oil, a little seasoning also. This is spicy sweet potato. See the color? Nice. That's good to go. For a person who likes their fish real juicy, mm -hmm. you can add to the sauce. For someone who wants the fish dry, you take it out of the oven, you can just put a little onions and stuff on it and have it that way. Ten more minutes and we'll, we should be good. Oh yeah, they're coming. Ooh, man. We're on to the vegetable now. Add just a little olive oil. And I'm gonna add my broccoli. Broccoli. And here. Saute. The reason why you put hot water, it go direct to the vegetable. If you had cold water, you gotta have to take time before it's um, heat up again. And the vegetable, the color will turn a bit. It's all just thick. Just, it's just, look at that. Red peppers, bap chai and cabbage, lemon juice, little cayenne pepper. The broccoli maintain green because I use that hot water, yep. Okay, one way of serving it, here. Whenever you prep fish, if, the, if you're gonna keep the head on, always take the eyeball out. Potato. That's a well-balanced meal. Well, you've gotten an amazing experience. It's been a pleasure for me to actually be in, in, in the kitchen with you one-on-one. -on -one. It is the virtual shift tour. 2021, the Taste of the Caribbean. We'll see you on the next episode, but before we go, I definitely want to taste this tipper. Definitely.